In today's video, we'll use remote configuration and management options to send different operations to our LWM2M client. Go to the Data Model tab and open the object you are interested in. For us, it is object number one, LWM2M server. We are focused on the operations column on the right side of the object, where we've got from the left the set value, read resource, observe resource, and execute resource. So let's start with the read resource. Click the icon which looks like the refresh sign. On the bottom left corner, you will see information that we scheduled read on resource. And if you see the green checked sign, that means that we read the resource value. Next, go to the right resource. We can set the value by writing the proper number in the field and clicking the set value. We'll change 50 to 60 seconds. Click set value and on the bottom left corner, you will see information scheduled right on resource. Wait some time to schedule the operation and the result operation is applied and the value is changed. Now we'll set the observations. In this panel, we can turn off and turn on sending notifications on many fields, like for example, when the value is less than. This led us to start performing LWN2M observe operations on the device. So we start with changing not more often than once in every and at least once every. Not more often than once every option shows the minimum time in seconds between two notifications. At least once every option shows the maximum time in seconds between two notifications. Remember, the notification is sent even if the value hasn't changed. To set the observations, we'll change these two values from 5 to 10 seconds. On the bottom left corner, we've got the information that we scheduled the observations. We only need to wait to apply this. Now the observation is applied, so we can go to the last one, which is execute resource. For this, click the execute option. And on the bottom left corner, you will see information scheduled execution on resource. And after a while, the operation will be applied. And that's all for the remote configuration and management. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.